Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing something a little different today. I'm gonna be painting my nails and telling you a little bit about how I got into nails and why I love them so much. I invite you to grab a snack or your polish and paint along with me. I hope you enjoy this different type of video and please let me know below if you do. All right, where do I even begin? I have loved nails for as long as I can remember. I was always fascinated by nail polish, nail stickers, press-ons, acrylic tips, and the sound that long nails made on a tabletop. You know that sound? I love that sound. I remember thinking that the cashiers at my favorite stores growing up, like Claire's, Bath and Body Works, and Afterthoughts. Do you remember Afterthoughts? I thought they were so cool with their long, fancy fingernails, and I wanted to be them. <laughs> when I look back at any of my elementary school pictures, nine out of 10 times, my nails were polished. When I was in the third grade, my teacher's daughter got married, and for the wedding, my teacher got acrylic French tips. I thought they were the coolest thing, and I was absolutely mesmerized by the transformation of her normally short and nubby nails into these long, beautiful tips. I vividly remember my first professional manicure. It had to have been the fourth or fifth grade. I went to the salon with my friend Kelly, I believe it was her birthday, and we both wanted neon green nails. Until we found out that the nail techs couldn't exactly use the same bottle of polish at the same time, so I decided to go with a bright yellow instead. Very similar to the polish that I'm using today. I loved getting my nails done. The entire experience was so much fun and something I couldn't wait to do again. In middle Middle school, I started painting my own nails. I remember painting them every single night to match my outfits for school the next day. A lot of shimmery blues and sparkly glitters were used during that time, most definitely inspired by the poker scene in The Parent Trap. If you know, you know. I started building a nail polish collection and begged to go to the local dollar store on the weekend so I could spend whatever money I had on nail polish and butterfly clips. When I turned 16, my best friend's mom took me to her salon to get my own set of silk wraps. She always had the nicest nails and I was beyond thrilled to finally have a set of my own. I had them painted with a sheer light pink polish and I adored them. After being introduced to the nail extension life, I'd regularly get acrylic tips throughout my high school years. I remember a full set was only $25 at my local salon. I haven't gotten a full set in a while, but I feel like that was a steal. My freshman year of college, I had two roommates, and one day we all discovered that we brought the same New York color polish to school with us, 111A. It was a bright, hot pink shade. Throughout my four years at college, I stepped out of my comfort zone when it came to my nails, and I explored all kinds of colors. This was the era when black nail polish lost its gothic reputation and became fashionable. My senior year, I had a two-hour break on Monday and Wednesday afternoon between classes. I'd usually go back to my dorm, catch up on my homework, and watch Desperate Housewives reruns, which always aired at that time. I loved Gabby, Eva Longoria's character, and I admired her nails in the show. They were always perfectly shaped and polished, and I swear she was a major source of inspo for me when making the decision to take better care of my natural nails and making the decision to try to grow them out. I started researching like crazy and became a regular at Sally Beauty Supply. I invested in the Develop 10 line and splurged on the Sesh V top coat. I was introduced to so many new polish brands like China Glaze and Zoya. I started trying everything and anything and eventually fell in love with Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Polishes. Post-grad, when I was working my first job, shellac hit the scene. I remember researching for days trying to find a salon near me that offered a gel manicure. I found one, booked an appointment, and I can honestly say it was the first and last gel manicure I ever paid for. While the tech did an okay job, I knew I could do it better. So I ordered a UV lamp, the OPI Axiom kit, which was the only DIY gel I could find at the time, and I began practicing. I'd paint my nails, my roommate's nails, my mom and my sister's nails, and I just fell in love with gel. In 2011, I discovered Gelish and I never looked back. When I began my blog in 2012, I wrote about everything. Fashion, beauty, food, books, many of the same things I still love and share today. As time went on, I began sharing more and more about my nails. I realized my small audience really enjoyed that content. When I started my Instagram account, I continued sharing more over there. And when I started my YouTube channel in 2016, it took me a full year before I ever posted a manicure video. That was five years ago and look where we are today. My channel has become a hub for Manny lovers everywhere, and I love sharing my DIY videos with you. I still think my channel is finding its footing, but I've embraced the direction that it's headed. 
Never in a million years would I have imagined that the love I've had for nail polish throughout my life would lead me here today. As strange as it seems, as far back as I can remember, it's always been part of me, and it's something I've had a true passion for. I once read that the work you do when you procrastinate is probably the work you should be doing for the rest of your life. And while there are a handful of things I do when I procrastinate, painting my nails has always been one of the big ones. So here's why I love nails and nail care so much. Because no matter how old you are, what size you are, what race you are, or what gender you are, nails are a part of all our lives. We look at our hands every day. We use our hands every day. Our nails serve as an accessory, a place of expression, and when they're polished and cared for, they instill a sense of confidence, balance, and composure that's just as easy to attain as it is to maintain. They're one of the only parts of our body that we can easily control. In a world where most things are being used to tear us apart, nails are a great way to bring us together. Whether your nails illustrate you as a classic and simple girly or a wild and crazy one, it doesn't matter because they're temporary. You can be whatever you want to be until you decide to be something else. Manicures aren't as much work as hair, as permanent as tattoos, or as expensive as clothing or shoes. One bottle of polish can change the way you feel about yourself and set the tone for your day or week. The smallest change in nail color, shape, or design is the perfect pick-me-up and a great way to refresh or reinvent your look. Taking care of your nails is just another way to take care of yourself. It's something that's done solely for you. Your nails are on your hands and they're in your line of vision. It's an affordable luxury that's accessible to everyone and anyone. The manicure process itself can be incredibly relaxing and it may be one of the only bits of alone time you can squeeze into your week. On top of that, the finished results will have you feeling powerful and more put together as you move through the following days. Life is all about the little things because life is in fact made up of them. When you take care of the small things in your life, the big things tend to take care of themselves. And I'm not just talking about nails here. This applies to your health, your home, your finances, and your relationships. Give yourself some credit for all you've done and all that you continue to do. And don't forget to treat yourself to these small luxuries in the meantime. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun trying something new. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd love it if you stuck around. There's a lot more to come. In case you're interested, I'll be sure to link all of the products that I used in this video in the description box below so you can check them out there. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!